going here. All right, so this is DDM 295. We're going to start right at the top. Alexi, for the white section, I want you to be Kramer. And David, I want you to be Jerry. Go for it, guys. Okay. Uh, did you call Alec Berg and thank him uh, for the hockey tickets? No. Oh, Jay. What are you waiting for? Well, what do I got to call him for? I thanked him five times when he gave me the he gave them to me. How many times I got to thank him? Oh, no, 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 no. You got to call him the next day. It's common courtesy. <laughs> no, I don't believe in it. I'm taking a stand against all this overtaking. Very. Good manners are our glue of society. Hey, if I knew I had to give him eight million thanks, thank yous, I would have taken the tickets in the first place. Great job, guys. Great job. We'll get to pronunciation in a minute here. Let me go. Moon, can you mute your microphone, please? I see you're listening only today. Welcome. I'm glad that you joined us, Moon. We need you to speak in the future, but today, listen only. Okay. Now I want Everton to take over Kramer and Jay to take over Jerry. Let's keep going, guys. All right. You know what's going to do? He's going to be upset because you didn't call him, and we're not a, we're not going to get those tickets for Friday night. Oh, you're my, you're you are out of your mind. All right. Where are you going? I got to get the shit clean. I have a banner on Friday. Who I? You remember the guy who pretended he had cancer, so I would be by him to cafe. So he actually had it? No, accident. He was trying to adjust his cafe while he was driving, and he lost control of, of the car. Great job, guys. Very good, very good. As people talk, they get more and more warmed up. Uh, I can hear that. That's good. Um, let me go right back to the beginning with uh, Alexi and David. Alexi, more AW, call. Call. Good, good. So remember, when we do the AW sound, your jaw needs to come down. Call. Call. Good. Did you call Alec? Did you call Alec? Alec, call Alec. Alec. Did you call Alec? Good. And thank him. Thank him. Very good. For the hockey tickets. Oh, hockey tickets. Did you call Alec Berg and thank him for the hockey tickets? Did you call Alec Berg and thank him for hockey tickets? For the hockey tickets? For, for the hockey tickets. Good job, good job. Um, Jerry. Alexi, be careful with the R. Oh. Jerry. Jerry. Good. Berry. It's almost like an air, like uh, berry and cherry and airy, like that. So one more time, Jerry. Jerry. Good, 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 good. David, what do I? What do I? Good. Now, I want a little bit faster with the what do, a little bit quicker. What do I? What do I? What do I got to call him for? What do I call him for? What do I got to call him for? What do I got to call him for? Better the first time. Try it again. What do I got to call him for? What do I got to call him for? Perfect. Great job. Let me go back yep. to Alexi. This, don't get confused, guys. This uh, pronunciation, C-O-U-R, it's the same as this. Cur, and it's a flap T. Cur to C, courtesy, courtesy. Courtesy. It's common courtesy. It's common courtesy. Great job. Very good, very good. 
Going back to David Moore, A.W. here. I'm taking a stand against all this overthinking. I'm taking a stand against all this overthinking. One more time. I'm taking a stand against all this overthinking. Great job. Alexi Short A, manners. Manners. Call Alec Berg. Call Alec Berg. Good manners. Good manners. Very good, very good. It's it's good. It's just practice. You, you really need to stretch, okay? Okay. Yeah. And let's go back to David. I didn't hear the, the wouldn't. We don't need the T, but I do need to hear that N. I wouldn't have taken the tickets in the first place. I wouldn't have taken the tickets in the first place. That was really good. This is tough. I wouldn't have taken. I wouldn't have taken the tickets good. in the first place. Let's get rid of the H here. Wouldn't have. I wouldn't have taken the tickets in the first place. Excellent job. David, how many H's, how many H words are there? Uh, H's, uh, known, I mean, it's one, but you're supposed to not read it. Like, not right, right. How many of those words are there? Uh, how many words? How many H words? Uh, I, I find one is have. 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 What else? What are the other ones? Anybody? How many H words? Um, Seven. Thank you. <laughs> what are they, Alexi? Have, has, had. Good, he, good. We'll start with the first. Uh, have, has, had, and what? He, his, her, him. There you go. Very good, very good, very good. David, you know this, right? Yeah, yeah, now I remember you always repeat it. It's the seven H's. <laughs> that's right, the seven H's, the seven H's, yes. And that's one of them right there. There you go. And, and you did it perfectly. This is actually really difficult, uh, but you did a great job. Good job. Thank you, Jay. All right. Uh, seven, yes. Okay, I'm, I'm looking at the, the text messages. Here. I'm, I'm late. Mikiko's here. I thought it was going to be late. Um, I got a new microphone, but it's not working. Oh, no. That's not cool. Uh, Moon, yes, you're muted. Seven, yes, seven. That's right. Zen, I can see you. You're you're doing a private chat. You don't have to. You can say to everyone. You can do private, too. Get that microphone working. Good job, guys. Let's keep going here. Let me go to Everton and Jay. Everton, you know what this is going to do? You know what this is going to do? Good. I want more TH. You know what this is? You know what this is? Good. Careful with the TH. I don't want it like a D. This is. This is. You know what this is going to do? You know what this is going to do? This is. Got to get the second S. You know what this is going to do? You know what this. You know what this. What this is. What is this gonna do? Good, good, good. One more time. <laughs> you know what this is gonna do? Bingo! Perfecto. Uh, we're not gonna get those tickets. We're not gonna get those tickets. Great job. Very good. Very good. Let me go to Jay. Jay, do we need the V? Yes or no? I don't. I don't. I don't. That's right, that's right. Ara. So we can just say ara, ara, ara. Ara, ara, your mind. Bingo! Uh, yeah. You're out of your mind. Oh, uh, you're out of your mind. Excellent job. What's the rule with the V, Jay? What's the rule? Uh, <laughs> how to explain. Oh, come on, Jay. <laughs> Help him out. Alexi, what's the rule? <laughs> You don't like rules. <laughs> oh, that's true. That's true. Uh, uh, before uh, consonant. There you go. You can, you can cancel, right? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Jay, say it. V before a consonant, we can cancel. 
B, we focus them, we can cancel. Bingo. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jay. Is it suit or shoot? Shoot. No, suit. I got to get a suit clean and Bingo. I have a funeral. 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 Funeral on Friday. Good job. One more time, Jay. I got, I got to get a shoot no. and I, what is different shoot and shoot, S-H-O-O-T and S-U-I-T? Completely different. Watch me. Watch me. Yeah. Shoot, 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 suit, suit, suit. Suit, suit. Okay, okay, I understand. I got to get a suit clean and I have a funeral on Friday. Funeral. Funeral. One more funeral. time. I got to get a shoot cleaned and I have a funeral. <laughs> I got a funeral on Friday. One more. I got to get a shoot cleaned and I have a funeral on Friday. Jay, you're going to make me lose my hair. Uh, I'm so I gotta sorry. Get a, <laughs> I got to get a suit cleaned. I gotta get a suit clean. I gotta get a suit cleaned. I gotta get a suit clean. I gotta get a suit cleaned. I gotta get a suit clean. Very good. Everton, who died? Who died? Very good, very good. Back to Jay. Oh, I'm nervous. Uh, do you remember the guy? Do you remember the guy? Who pretended he had cancer? Who pretended he had cancer? So I would buy him a toupee? So I would buy him to a toupee? There you go. Toupee. And the pronunciation, toupee. I know the spelling is bad, but the pronunciation toupee. is like this. Toupee. Toupee. Good. Uh, one more time. The guy who, I'm sorry, uh, who pretended he had cancer? Who pretended he had cancer? So I would buy him the toupee? So I would buy him the toupee? Great job. Very good, guys. I'm going to keep going here. Uh, we'll take questions later. David, thank you. Obrigado for joining. How is your new job, David? Hello, Shane. Long time to see. <laughs> I miss you, man. Oh, I miss you too, David. So tell, tell me. Tell to your parents that a bald guy miss you. <laughs> My mom will be so happy. <laughs> So David, how do you like the new job? Yeah, it's it's a nice job, Shane. Um, I'm working at the Brazilian Nuclear Industries, and I'm working at the Safe Parts. And I, we receive inspector from AIEA every month. Wow! And I have to talk in English with them. <laughs> so, Sometimes English, so English is absolutely necessary. Some, yes, yes, very necessary. Sometimes they are Russian, sometimes they are from South Korea, sometimes they are from Argentina. The inspectors are from different parts of the world. And who and is all of their English is it good? No, no, they have a strong accent. It's very difficult to talk with them. You need to tell them to take this class. Yes, yes, they they have to. They have to <laughs> attend the, the DGM. Uh, I'm very happy for you, David. Your mom and dad must be happy too. Thank you. Yes, they are. <laughs> that's great, that's great. Okay, David. To celebrate your new job, I want you to be Elaine. <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> and Mikiko, I want you to be Jerry. You know what? This is pretty uh, short. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna give you both the whole thing. Uh, David, you're Jerry. Mikiko, you are. I'm sorry, David. Yeah, I'll, I'll be nice. Mikiko, you are Elaine, and David, you are Jerry. The whole thing, yellow and white. Go for it, guys. That poor priest, he was just in visiting from Elvis. 
Salvador. Mm -hmm. Now he he went. Sorry, I can't hear the script. I can't hear. I, uh, now he has gone completely local. The one, the one body screamed at in the car. Yeah, he thinks he saw the devil. He won't leave his room in a church basement. Well, that's what you get from getting mixed up with a face painter. I mean, what compels a seemingly normal human being to do something like that? Got to support the team. Great. I'm going to stop you guys right there. Excellent job, both of you. Very good. I'm going to go back to the yellow. Uh, I, I realize we have too many people. Excellent job. I'll come back to you, too. Um, let's make sure I don't skip anybody. Pablo. And who's participant? Uh, participant Android can't hear us. Uh, Umesh. Pablo, I want you to take over Elaine and Umesh. All right. Uh, and I'll just, yeah, this is nothing, so it's, it's uh, yeah, Umesh, I want you to do Jerry. I'll give you more, too, Umesh. Uh, go ahead, Pablo and Umesh, please. All right. Um, you know, I really hate my clothes. Mm. Can you actually hear me? Yes, I hear you just absolutely fine. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. Keep Sorry, going. Uh, so I'll just say it again. You know, I really hate my clothes. Mm. Mm -hmm. You know, I open up my closet, there's just nothing. Nothing. I hate everything I have. I really hate it. I mean, at this point, it's like I can wear something three or four times and then that's it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, it's getting to be a terrible problem for me. Mm-hmm. Hey, got it. <laughs> you see that? What kind of a hello was that? Oh, great job. Very good. Umesh, perfect role. Uh, okay, let me go back here. First of all, let me go back to David and Mikiko. Uh, Mikiko, just visiting. Just visiting. Good job. I want a little bit more NG. He was just visiting. He was just visiting. Just visiting. Just visiting. Good, good. Your just is a little bit schwa, which is okay, but I, I want more of a, a just visiting. Just visiting. Good job. Local. Local. <laughs> Be careful. Don't say local. I want you to say local. Lo so what should I Local. Local. <laughs> yeah, it's the same pronunciation, O and co, lo, co, loco. Lo, lo, co. Good, good, good. David, is it the one, the one, or the one? The one. That's right, don't say the, the one. And now actually, okay. everybody, to be honest, uh, in this one, it's actually the one, because this is a W, right, David? Right. Yes. Now, it is possible to say the one. It's okay. We can say the one, but generally, even though that's an O, the sound is a W, so you want the. So one more time, David. The one putty screamed at? The one putty screamed at? There you go. And I want that connection there. Screamed at. Screamed at in the car? Screamed at in the car? Great job. The one putty Why there is at? Why there is at after screamed? Ah, to scream at somebody. Though it's a phrasal verb and they go together. Okay. To scream at somebody. Scream at. Okay. Oh, that's a good question. Yeah. Just scream is wrong. Yeah. Uh, we it, yes. If we only had screamed, it would be wrong. Screamed. Um, mm -hmm. Screamed would be as ah. Screamed at would be to to project anger at someone. Screamed at. Okay. Okay, don't scream at me. <laughs> okay, Shane. The one putty screamed at in the car? The one putty screamed at in the car? Don't leave out the Y. The one putty screamed at in the car? The one putty screamed at the car? In the uh, car? This is tough. I, this is tough, guys. Everybody, I want... 
you guys to think stop to here. The one putty screamed at in the car. The one putty screamed at in the car. Great, one more. The one putty screamed at in the car. Much better, great job. And I need to hear the four more. That's what you get for getting mixed up. That's what you get for getting mixed up. Great job, super job. Let me go to Pablo. Hello, Pablo. Hi. Pablo, where are you from? Uh, originally from Germany. From Germany. You have such a lovely yeah. British accent. Or is it Australian? <laughs> um, that is a good question, actually. I, I actually really don't know. I used to have an American accent, but now I live in the UK, so I got more used to British English. Um, because if you talk American English here, people will think you're crazy, just as British in the US, you know. Exactly, but, yeah. yeah. You think you're uneducated. You're uneducated. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so where, where in the UK do you live, Pablo? Uh, in Manchester at the moment. That's in the north of England. Why Manchester? I I got a job offer here, so that's why I moved. Do you like it? Right. Oh, it's a little rainy, <laughs> but otherwise it's fine. <laughs> and well, the housing is not really good. So compared to other um, countries, so housing is rather poor and quite expensive. So yeah. 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 <laughs> Pablo's not a German name, is it? No, it isn't. No, no. <laughs> the only it's, Pablo I know uh, is P Portuguese. Uh, Pablo Picasso? Sure that, is he Spanish or Portuguese? Oh, that, that would be Spanish. Yeah, that would be Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> now, my yeah. question for you, Pablo. Now, you live in the UK. You live in Manchester. You have a very proper pronunciation. It sounds actually rather good. But do you want to practice yeah. your American pronunciation? Would you want <laughs> With your <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I, I can try with the American English. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay, I just have to try to switch back. All right, let's give it a try. <laughs> All right, good. Let's try this. I really hate my clothes. Actually, I hate my clothes. <laughs> I no? like it. That was good. And the O is much more American. I open up my closet. I open up my closet. There's just nothing. No. It's just nothing. Good. Now, you're saying nothing, which is absolutely fine, uh, but I want to check your ing, too. There's just nothing. Nothing. Perfect. Great job. Yeah, nothing is fine. You can say nothing. I just wanted to check. Um, and let me – you have a very nice hav. What do we say in America? Have. <laughs> there you go. I hate <laughs> everything I have. I hate everything I have. Oh, give me more TH there. One more time. I hate everything I have. Good. I really hate it. I really hate it. Good. Good flap sound. Uh, three or four. Very lovely. Um, I can wear something <laughs> three or four times. I can wear something three or four times, and that's three. it. Good. And, and once again, with that American short A, and that's it. And that's it. Great. Uh, Pablo, are you married? Uh, <laughs> I um, I have a partner. So, okay, um, good. Yeah. Does your Does your yeah. partner love clothes or hate clothes? Um, she's not so much focused on clothes. No. You're lucky. You're lucky. <laughs> Keep that partner. <laughs> but but perfumes and stuff. Oh no. <laughs> oh, <that's exciting. laughs> All right, let me switch uh, right now for a second to Umesh. Ah, 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 problem. Problem. It's getting to be a terrible problem for me. Oh, that, that's actually, I'm sorry, that, that's still Pablo. Pablo, one more time. Yeah, it was a little bit one-sided, this, uh, this dialogue. Uh, it's getting a bit, it's, get, it's getting to be a terrible problem for me. There you go. Now you said getting, which is also quite British. Uh, we getting. have t right. We getting. have two styles in America. Getting. What are the two styles? Do you know? Styles. Yeah. For this type of a word, we're gonna have. Uh, I like to say a stop t, uh, but in this case, we can say glottal stop for you linguistic people, um, and the other would be the flap t. Okay, so what that means is 
we can say getting, 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 or getting, getting, getting. And it's almost like a get with a ding, getting, getting, getting. This is now, and the British style would be more getting, getting, getting. Uh, in America, getting, 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 or getting, getting, getting. So, Pablo, in Manchester, do they have this type of a pronunciation or this type of a pronunciation? Oh, that's a tough one because actually the local English they speak here, I don't understand it. I mean, I just speak normal, <laughs> normal British English, but um, I, I don't think that. Actually, I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. One of. Uh, I, I don't think so. I, we have a guy, Miguel, Coach Miguel. He also uh, has classes. He lived in Manchester for a while, and he said Manchester accent was horrible. It's terrible. Yeah, I talk to people. They like Americans. They've been here and they couldn't understand a word that the locals people uh, were speaking, like Mancunian English. <laughs> <laughs> That's a terrible well, problem. It is. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Now let me jump down to Umesh. Umesh, short A, that. That. Um, what kind of a hello was that? What kind of uh, what kind of a hello was that? Great job, great job, very good, very good. Now I'm gonna have Umesh do more here. Francisco's here. Uh, Umesh, I want you to be Mr. Pless, and Francisco, I want you to be Kramer, and. Uh, I, I got Yuka and Beretha have joined. That's excellent. I'll get to you guys later. Let me go back to Minjung. Minjung, Zen, are you there? Is your microphone working? Right now it's on mute. No, no, no. Okay, then I'm going to have Yuka have that one line of uh, – oh, no, actually, it's just the first part. I'm sorry. Forget it. Um, Umesh, Mr. Pless. Francisco Kramer for just the white section here. Go for it, guys. Ah, oh, Mr. Kramer. Mr. Kramer. <laughs> Francisco. Ah, Francisco, I can hardly hear you. Can you hear him, Umesh? No. No, Francisco, I can... Just hear your voice. Can you figure out how to turn the volume up on your microphone? I hear pip, 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 pip. Hello. Okay, I can hear you. I can just hear you, Francisco. Francisco, why don't you leave and come back, okay? Okay. Okay. Yuka, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. All right, let's have Umesh and Yuka do this one. So Umesh, start us off again, please. Okay. Ah, Mr. Kramer. Yes? Thanks for coming. So uh, what did you want to meet me about? Well, Mr. Kramer, to get right to it, we are having a bit a bit of a problem with Barry. Barry? The chimpanzee. Oh, well, uh, what's the problem? Well, he's not functioning the way he normally does. He seems depressed. He's lost his appetite. He's even curtailed his autoerotic activities. And we think it's directly related to the altercation he, he had with you the other day. Great job. Very good. Very good. Hold on a second. Excellent job. Let me go back to Francisco. Francisco, let's test your mic. Francisco? I can hear my cat, but not Francisco. Keep saying, keep saying something, Francisco. Ay, 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 ay. Well, this is not good. Zen and Francisco, both in Korea, and I'm not getting their audio from either of them. What's my cat doing? 
Hmm. Okay. Um, please don't give up. Keep working uh, the mics. Keep switching things around. Um, if you're using a PC, there is a control that you can use, the speaker control. If you right-click on the speaker and then choose recording devices, it'll say Nogum, and then highlight that, and then you can choose your microphone. After you choose your microphone, you can click properties and then after properties uh, you can adjust the volume the volume you can adjust it that way too okay so just to let you know uh, how to do it on a PC uh, let's go with Berta and Shelly have joined uh, the last two to join so let's have Berta be Kramer Shelly Mr. Pless and Francisco and uh, Zen, once again, I want to get you guys in, but uh, we're going to skip you for now. Yuka, I'll give you Sienna. Go for it, the three of you, please. Go for it, ladies. So, so, what do you want me to do? Well, frankly, we'd like you to apologize. Yeah, well, he started it. Mr. Kramer. She said he's an innocent primate. So am I. Uh, you know, what about my feelings? Don't my feelings count for anything? Oh, only the poor monkeys to burden. Everything has to be done for the monkey. Look, sorry, I... Hey, that's okay. <laughs> well, I gotta feed the mom set. You know, George really likes you. I don't... What? Oh, uh, she doesn't hear too well out of her left ear. Very oh. good. Don't worry. Thank you, thank you. Don't worry. We'll get you more, Shelly. Shelly, do you have a child? Uh, yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> we, Our DDM students have many children that join, and usually they only cry. <laughs> Don't worry about that. Uh, okay. Oh, Umesh, you're flattering me. Yeah, my computer knowledge is not good at all. Uh, okay, let me go back here. And I'm going to check, and, and once again, for Shelly and Zen and Francisco, I do want to check you guys a little bit later. But let's go back to this section here. I forgot who it was. Who was it? Umesh? Uh, I was Mr. Press, and Kramer was Yuka. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, so, Yuka, what did you want to see me about? What did you want to see me about? Good. One more time. What did you? What did you? Want to see me about? Want to see me about? Perfect, perfect. Umesh, um, you're doing really good, and I'm really trying to find problems, if you don't mind. And it's the R, um, and I want your R. Your, your, uh, the way I can imagine it is your tongue is a little high, um, and I think that's typical for you know a lot of Indian uh, and Bangladeshi, Pakistan, that area. A lot of people, their tongue is a little high when they speak, and you get kind of this sound, almost like Scottish English, very similar actually to Scottish. So. We talk about the L, the light L, and the dark L. The dark L for Indian students is easy, and for Scottish people, it's very common. So I want you to try and bring your tongue down just a bit to get right to it. To get right to it. That was beautiful. Well, Mr. Kramer, to get right to it, well, Mr. Kramer, to get right to it. That was so perfect. We're having a bit of a problem with Barry. We are having a bit of a problem with a Barry. Bit of a. Bit of a. a bit of a. Don't say bit of a. Bring your tongue down again. Bit of a. Bit of a. Bit of a. Good. Keep the V. Bit of a. Bit of a. We're having a bit of a. We are having a bit of a problem 
with that. Give me more V, Umesh. Bit of V. Uh. Okay. Bit of V. Uh. Bit of, bit of, bit of a. Bit of a. Bit of a problem. Bit of a problem. I liked it. We're having, uh, we got two V's here. This might be causing a little bit of a problem. Let's try that. We're having a bit of a problem. We are having a bit of a problem. Sounded Actually, much. The, the thing is, we have in, um, in our language, we have this w and r sound and so the for us until I joined the BDM it was the, the W and the V the same okay and the same uh, R and the we have L sound so it has a more uh, uh, like alphabets in, in the language so we have all kind of sounds there so that, that's the reason I, I get confused and I V and uh, W. So. Yeah. And don't worry. Uh, it's something that you can fix, and, and you, you already know it. It's just a matter of concentration and practice. You're doing great. The thing is, like, when I have something in written, so I can speak properly. Like, even, like, the what happens, I talk to my friends in India, and it goes, like, okay, normal, like, uh, Indian accent. But as soon as I have to explain something and I have to read something, and I getting the accent, right? <laughs> so like R and the V. They say, hey, why are you using the American accent? Said, this is what when I see it, I see that okay, this is how I need to pronounce it. Okay, it's R coming, so and the V coming, and or W coming. So, um, um, I I need more practice, I believe. At your, I'm curious. At your company, are most of the people you work with Indian or American? Uh, both. Both. Uh, like, actually, the company has more American, but uh, the teams, you know, are the people you interact, so American and uh, I, and I try to go with. I have a good friend, like uh, my project managers. All the project managers, they say he, I'm the superhero for them. <laughs> Because I, I, I've, like, so far I have really, really a great track record of uh, all the things, other projects I have completed and I'm doing so far. And single-handedly, like, I have done so many things. So that's the reason they take me out for lunch or dinner. Or one of the project managers, he take me. He always say, let's go to gym. So <laughs> I spend two hours with him in a, in a gym as well. So, that's so I spend more time with Americans. Okay, that's great. That's great. Um, you know what? Uh, I'm gonna. I have to write this down. I'm gonna send you a couple of perf lessons. Okay. Mm -hmm. Are you in perf? No. Yeah, I'm. I'm. I'm in perf. Uh, you are in perf. Why don't you send me your recordings? The thing is, I'm really, really like. What happened? Like some. I think like you know. Sometimes I feel like. Uh, I was, you know, I was listening to a podcast for a long time, and I was planning to join, but every time there was something going on. Like even like, I work five days. I work today because tonight I have to wake up at uh, one o'clock, and until seven or eight I have to work. So that's the reason I miss my stuff or uh, hangout. I really want to join the, all the hangouts. I don't want to miss, but it happens. Like in a month, I get three or four days. So. So okay, so whenever I get time, I do my DDM, I do my puff, and then it it goes like you see that you see sometimes I I send my DDM in in a row like three four and then I'm gone. So right, this is, this is what happens. It's the schedule. I understand. Well, um, I don't worry about it. Please uh, remind me. Uh, you know when we're when we're practicing, remind me. Betha always reminds me. Check my S. Check my Z. Remind me too to check your W's and R's and L's and things like that. Okay, if I miss. Mm -hmm. Sure. Okay. Uh, let's go back here again. Uh, da -da -da -da. Uh, oh, here we go. So, yes, he's not functioning. I'm sorry, Yuka, Yuka, Yuka. What's the problem? What's the problem? What's the problem? Perfect. What's the problem? <laughs> no problem, no problem. <laughs> and back to Umesh. He's not functioning. He's not functioning. 
He's even curtailed his. He's even he's even curtailed his. Great. And once again, you got your favorite sounds. V R L. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's even curtailed his. He's even curtailed his. Even, even. He's even, e even. Good, good. He's even curtailed his. He's even curtailed his. I liked it. Directly related. Directly related. Related, related. Related. Good. And once again, Umesh, I do recommend for you the light L. Okay, try and, and I know you do the dark L, it's it's easier for you, but try to do it related, related. Related, right. Good directly. Directly. Oh, okay. Directly. Perfect. So some some places, some spots are there. I, I tried my I try my best to you know, I try my best to use always light L, but uh, some spots are there like I try my best and I can yeah can do that light L. I know, like and don't worry, the time to practice, and this is for everybody, if you have an L pronunciation, practice when you're in front of the mirror, okay, and just, just do, you know, 10 seconds, I like, 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 just so that your ears are used to the sound, that's all it is, okay, a little, 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 like, 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 just do it five seconds, three seconds, but every time you go to the bathroom, you wash your hands, like, 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 little, 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 and that way your ears are going to get used to the sound, and as you practice that three seconds every day, every time you go to the bathroom, in the future, it's going to click, and your L sound is going to clean up. It's really important. Just, just simple three-second practice, okay? And let me go to the final one here, Umesh. The other day. The, the other day. Great. The other, other day. The other day. The other day. Great job. Super job. Let me go to my next group of ladies here. We've got Berta and Shelly and uh, Yuka for one little section here. So, Shelly, first of all... Um, Shelly, your pronunciation is actually pretty good, but sometimes you don't sound like a human. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know. So, but that's like okay. A... It's just practice, okay? Okay. So let's try this. We'd like you to apologize. We'd like you to apologize. Okay. So let's go slowly. We'd like you... We like to. Good. I want a little bit more of a stop here. We'd, we'd, we'd like okay. you. Okay. We'd like you. To, uh, to apologize. To apologize. Great. For everybody watching here, when we have, when we have the, the, the O, fo and the next word begins with a vowel, okay? So here we got two and then A, a vowel. What we do is we still link the sounds but we insert a W between them. So basically we get to what, uh, to what, uh, to apologize. To apologize. We'd like you to apologize. We'll, we'd like you to apologize. Good. Frankly, does, is this a nice word or a strong word? Um, strong? Yeah, it's strong. So when you say this sentence, be strong. Frankly, we'd like you to apologize. Frankly, we'd like you to apologize. Very good, very good. Let's go to the next one. Uh, Beretha, careful with the R. Well, he started it. Well, he started it. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> you started it. What? You throw the banana peel at the monkey. I had to. I, I didn't have a refrigerator like Makiko. Makiko threw a refrigerator at the monkey. Oh. <laughs> oh of course, I'm so mad. <laughs> Better the intonation. What about my feelings? How about my feelings? Don't my feelings count for anything? 
Great, great. Better than everybody, if you listen, better than said how about, which is no problem. What about, how about, we do say both. And Yuka, I've got to go feed. Uh, I've got to go feed. That's right. Got to go to, got to go to, no. I've got to go. I've got to go. I've got to go study. I've got to go study. I've got to go work. I've got to go, go I've, I've got to go work. I've got to go practice. I've got to go practice. I've got to go eat. <laughs> I've got to go eat. There you go. There you go. Good job. Just keep practicing. It's, it's everybody has the pattern go to. I've got to go to the, oh, no, no, no. I've got to go verb. Got to go verb. Okay? Okay. And back to, you bet, you bet. Back to Shelly here. She doesn't hear too well. She doesn't hear too well. Now, um, how do we do this pronunciation? Can you explain? Other, and then, er, uh, other, other, ver, other, ver. Yes, other. very good job. That's right. So we, we can cancel the H. If we, if we cancel the H, I recommend keeping the V. And if we keep the V, we should probably link the V. So it's going to be out of her, out of her, out of her. Okay, so she doesn't hear too well out of her left ear. She doesn't hear too well out of her left ear. Not bad. Try this again. Ada. 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 Good. Ada. Good, good. One more time. Ada. Ada. Out of her. Out of her. Out of her. Out of her. She doesn't hear too well out of her left ear. He doesn't hear too well out of her left ear. Very, very good. Very good. Very good. Um, ba -bum, ba -bum. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, for now, uh, that's it. I actually think I got everybody speaking. I'm very, very pleased about that. But I want to get uh, uh, Shelly to speak a little bit more. Nabil is here. Hi, Nabil. First of all, let me go back to Francisco and Zen. I hope it's working. Francisco? Yeah. Do you hear me now? Yes. Okay. Okay. What did you, did you break your computer? What did you do? I don't know. <laughs> I touched here and there. Okay, that's all. <laughs> <laughs> You've got the magic touch. You've got the Midas touch. Okay. Zen, Minjong. <laughs> it's a rainy night there. All right. Uh, Nabil, how you doing, Nabil? I'm good. Very good, very good. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. Um, I'm going to give this to Francisco, the whole thing to Francisco. I'm going to give this to... Uh, Shelly. She had a little bit, but we'll give all of this to Shelly. And from that point, it's just going to be a little section, and I'll just take volunteers. So everybody just gets one section. You have That's to... Great. Ah, okay, sorry. Thank you. You guys are going to have to be really quick um, on the turning your mic on only when I tell you. I'm going to be very military, and I'm going to just give uh, one sentence to people. I know it sucks, but hey, I'm in command. Uh, so once again, this is what's going to happen here. Uh, the, oops. Yeah, whoa. All right, so this is going to be Francisco, the yellow. The blue is going to be Shelly. Um, I'll give this to Shelly, too. And the yellow is going to be Yuka. And then I'm going to take volunteers, and I'll take them one at a time at that time, not yet. So let's go ahead and start this off here, guys. Go for it. You've got to hand it to Donald Trump, me. He sure uses his hands a lot. They bend like a pretzel. They are such liars, the worst. 
but these magnificent, but these magnificently expressive hands are what live Marco Rubio had the nerve to call small. And you know what they say about men with small hands? You can't trust them. Shelley. Okay. Well, just trying to pick up the government. With I always have people say, Donald, you have the most beautiful hands. We try to maintain a hands-off attitude about this story. But when Donald jumped in, so did we. He said, I have small hands. They are not small, are they? I never heard, I never heard that one before. Oh yes, he did, says the editor of Vanity Fair, who once described Trump as a short-fingered vulgarian. Oh, good job. That was good. Very good. Yuka. And ever since the editor Great Graydon Graydon Carter says he receives the envelopes from Trump always with a photo on which he circled his hand to highlight the length of his fingers, usually with a not reading. She not so short. Great job. Next person, just one line. Who is it? Actually, sure. The editor wrote back to Trump. Others have piled on. Excellent. Next. Daniel, go for it. Daniel's sleeping. David. Okay. All okay. right. Our Good. website called, called shotfingers.com posts what seems to be real and Photoshop it. Photos emphasizing Trump's hands. Keep going, Daniel. The new, uh, the new Republic said his tiny fingers resemble cocktail winnies. One more. While the website Gawker suggested Trump endorsed Chris Christie's hands are even smaller than the Donald's. Great job. Next volunteer, Nabil. Nabil, finish it out for us. Yes. One commenter suggested Russian leader Vladimir Putin also has short fingers as if all tough guys have a small hand complex to make up bar. But Trump sports are more interested in shape than size, specifically the V for victory. And maybe your hands might seem smaller if they got this much exercise. Jenny Moon, CNN, New York. Great job, everybody. Very pleased. Let's go back. I'll take questions in a minute. Let's go back, first of all, to... Um, ba -ba -ba -bum. Help me out here. Francisco. Francisco, yes. Donald Trump. Donald Trump. There you go. You've got to hand it to Donald Trump. you got to hand it to Donald Trump. He sure uses his hands a lot. He sure uses his he sure uses hands a lot. Uses his? Uses his? Good, good. That H in the his is a weak H, seven H's. He sure uses his hands a lot. He sure uses his hands a lot. Pretzel. Pretzel. Yeah, schwa sound. Pretzel. Pretzel. Magnificently. Magnificently. But these magnificently expressive hands. But these magnificently expressive hands are what rival Marco Rubio. Are what rival are what rival Marco Rubio call small. Call small. Great job. Perfect. Perfect. Shelley Moore A W Gauntlet. Gauntlet. Pick up the gauntlet. Pick up the gauntlet. Good. More of a stop here. Gauntlet. 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 Now you gave me a bit of a British sound attitude, and in America a little bit more flat T. A hands-off attitude. A hands-off attitude. Great job. Small. 
small. Even more small. Small. So everybody, make sure you understand these are your upper teeth. Oh, really ugly upper teeth. Oh, I gotta start that over. Try again. <laughs> these are your upper teeth. There we go. These are your lower teeth. And this is your mouth. Your tongue just rests in the middle. But I want you to feel behind your lower teeth, this is all bone. So if you use your tongue and touch here, it's all bone, 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 bone. But then about right here, it starts to get really soft. Okay, it starts to get soft. So what you need to do to make the AW sound, you put your tip of the tongue into the soft part and drop the jaw. Ah, oh, ah. Oh. Try that. Ah. Oh. Ah, oh, ah. Oh. Perfect. Oh. Small. Small. Good. And the light L between the teeth. Small. Small. Very good. Call small. Call small. They're not small. They're a lot small. They're not small. They're a lot small. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm doing this. They're not small. They're a lot small. They're not, 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 not. They're not. They're not. They're not small. They're not small. They're not small. Good. Describe Trump as a short fingered. Describe describe Trump as short finger. As a as a. As as a as a. Short fingered. Short fingered. Vulgarian. Vulgarian. Good. Describe Trump as a short fingered Vulgarian. Describe Trump. As a short finger Bulgarian. Short fingered. Sh short finger short. Give that R short short. Short. Great job. Sure. Let me go back to Yuka. Ever since. Ever since. More R. Ever since. Ever since. Perfect. Trump always with the photo. Trump always with the photo. Circled his hand. Circled his hand. There you go. Perfect. One more time. Circled his hand. Circled his hand. Great job. Very good. Very good. Thank you. Uh, and I don't know if it's Zen or Minjung. Thank you. Keep practicing. I appreciate that. Thanks for the message. Uh, Zen, Zen is saying... Even though my microphone is not working, I'm practicing along with you. And that's that's great. Uh, Beretta, the editor wrote back. Back. Others have piled on. Others have piled on. Keep that no. piled on. Piled on. Others, others have piled on. Others have piled on. Piled on. <laughs> One more. Others have piled on. No circle, please. What? Thumb. You should thumb. <laughs> the circle means something else. You know the middle finger. Oh, my God. Yeah. Uh, I apologize. Uh, the gestures. You know what? Uh, every country has something different. Uh and my understanding is in some countries, the thumb has a negative meaning, too. You can't be right. Oh, my God. <laughs> I know. It's terrible. So yeah, I must just sit I here. Know that. Good, good, good. <laughs> okay. Let me go to, is it Daniel-san? Yeah. A hey, long time no see, Daniel. Where the hell have you been? Yeah, I'm very occupied. That's good. Is it successful? Yeah. Yeah. I'm happy for you, Daniel. Thank you. Daniel, let's practice here. You said seems, and that seems logical because what seems? 
but it's yeah. actually it's actually what seem. Can anybody? And this is a question for anybody. Instead, what is what? What is what? What is what referred to? Why is seem correct? What does what refer to? Anybody? This is a tough one. Nobody. What? One more time, Mikiko. Thank you very much. That's right. It refers to photos. So a website called shortfingers.com posts photos which seem to be. So that's the idea. This what takes the place of photos that, the relative pronoun, or photos which. So this is really actually complicated, confusing grammar. And the native English speaker, we don't even think. It just comes out naturally. Uh, but yeah, and you guys, for most of my students, ESL students, you're very keen on grammar and almost everybody wants to add an S. But no, <coughs> this is a reference to photos. Uh, so the, the, the correct is when what uh, is in the place of a singular uh, we should use sims, but if what is in a place of a plural, we should use sim. Yes. Always. Uh, I hate always. Don't don't make me say always. I'm not going to say always. <laughs> okay. But <laughs> it's it, it's grammatically correct. Yeah, and this is I don't know you know I don't know what a I, I imagine an Oxford grammar teacher would probably hit the student for using this sentence. Uh, it's a complicated, ridiculous, daily English sentence, not proper written sentence. But uh, yeah, this is what we say. Okay, but in general, general, uh, when I when what uh, uh, means a plural noun, well, we should verb, use right, and we can understand that because posts means continuous, right? It, it's not ing, but it means yesterday, now, tomorrow. It means continually. So obviously, it's going to be the subject of what we're talking about is plural. So it's going to be yeah. seem. So that's why it's going to be seem. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. Daniel, but I'm going to... Uh, the Go question is that I always thought uh, after what we should use seems, but it's not true. It's not the case. That's right. Okay. Daniel, I'm going to get you on your O's here. Photoshop Photos. Just a stop sound. Photoshop photos. Photoshop photos. Good. Try the first sentence again. A website called shotfingers.com posts what seem to be real and photoshopped, photoshopped photos emphasizing Trump's hands. His hands. tiny fingers. His tiny fingers. What, what did I... What, what uh, was my, why was short. my mistake? Your why is oh. tiny fingers. It was too short. I need more. Tiny. Ah, okay. Tiny fingers. Resemble cocktail weenies. Resemble cocktails weenies. One Co cocktail weenies. There you go. Good job. Very good. And let me go to Nabil. One commenter. One commenter. Vladimir Putin. Vladimir Putin. Putin. Yeah, one more time. Vladimir Putin. Vladimir Putin. A small hand complex. A small hand complex. But Trump supporters. But Trump supporters. But Trump supporters are more interested. But Trump supporters are more interested. Good job. Careful with this R. But Trump supporters are more interested. But Trump supporters are more interested. Very in good. Very good. In the V for victory. Sorry. In. Yeah, I, I'm. I'm. I'm going here. Uh, the V for victory. The V for victory. 
give me more or the V or er the V for victory the V for victory great job very, very good um, might seem smaller might seem smaller 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 if they got this much exercise if they got this much exercise genie moose genie yeah genie genie moose great job everybody super job very pleased now I'm taking questions on anything 293 294 295 296 and I know Francisco boom there he is already with the mic on what do you got what do you got Francisco the wheeze mean the second line that uh, from the top me the top yeah yeah who is me here you didn't watch the video I watched everything you it was Trump. He said, so Jeannie Moose said, you've got to handle to Donald Trump. And then Trump said, me. Then what does that imply? Trump is something implied or what? No, no, no. No, no, no. It doesn't imply anything. It's just like, uh, uh, if I, let's see if I can give an example. Um, I don't have anything. Uh, okay. Um, Hold on a second. I had to find my cat. All right, you see my cat? You okay? All right. So, so I have a cat named Minty. And she's a troublemaker. That's all it is. I have a cat named Minty, and she's a troublemaker. But it's more interesting. I have a cat named Minty. Me. And she's a troublemaker. I'm not quite sure what that implies. Whole sentence is three sentences. Me myself. Yeah, it's just emphasizing me. She. So in this case, you've got to hand it to Donald Trump. Me. She's talking about me. Me, 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 me. Mm -hmm. That's all. Okay. It, it's just funny. <laughs> okay. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you, Minty. My poor cat. Do you, uh, can you, uh, Min, Minty, uh, does have any meaning? Uh, no meaning that any of you would understand. I read something in internet, uh, something about uh, politics. I will. You read about politics? I can't believe it. Yeah, mint means something about politics. I, I don't remember. No, not for exactly not for what. My my cat is apolitical. <laughs> More questions, more questions. I'm gonna take. I, I gotta take questions first because I know for some people it's late. Apolitical. There you go. What the heck is that? Apolitical means no <laughs> politics. Like some ADs. Brazilians, some Brazilians in the U.S. are voting. Uh, will vote for uh, Trump, and they wrote in a big piece of paper. Uh, vote for Trump to help Brazil. Uh, well, you don't know what's happening in Brazil, but it, we are next to uh, 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 a tragic uh, political fight in Brazil, no, I where don't. people, where people like Trump is trying to. Uh, destroy the government. Daniel, we can talk about that stuff later. Yeah, it's 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 there are problems everywhere. Guys, uh, yeah, Mikiko, you can ask too. Let me take care of Daniel. I, I don't mean to, to shut you down, but later on. Uh, this is Nabil's question, and Mikiko, you're Mikiko, you're next. Receptionist, reception. 
reception. It's going to be a shin. Receptionist. Receptionist. Do you want to try? Receptionist. 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 Re, 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 receptionist. Receptionist. Not re, it's more of a schwa. Re, receptionist. Receptionist. Bingo, got it. Mikiko? Thank you, thank you. Uh, the 295 script, the previous one. Yep, Mikiko, can you turn your microphone up by any chance? Oh, sorry. Can you hear me? A little bit better. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, okay, thank you. And the last sentence of 295, that she doesn't hear too well out of her left ear. So in that sentence, that out of that, right? Is it a by or with? I understand. It's only out of, I think, of one out of 100 or out of the place or out of order. So if the sound is out of her ear, maybe I can understand. So would you uh, give me some other example using out of? No, um, no, oh. but I will tell you this. This okay. is... Uh, Wrong. It's not wrong. It's what we say. Now, instead of out of her ear, he should have said in her left ear. This is what's proper. Uh, she doesn't hear too well in her left ear. Um, That's yes, yes. Uh, so he actually said it wrong. However, it's very common for people to actually say out of her left ear. And I guess the idea is... I don't know what the idea is because it doesn't make sense. Sound goes into the ear, not out of the ear. I guess the hearing grabs the sound. Maybe that's the idea. Uh, but once again, what he says to the American as we're listening, we just understand. But if we analyze it, it makes zero sense. It's completely illogical. Thank you very much. Yep. Great job. Pronunciation for manners. Manners, manners. What? Man, man, just like man, man, manners. Okay, I have problems with the ending. The Z, manners. Manners. Even a little bit more, not much, it doesn't really matter, but a little bit more, manners. Manners. Good. So do this, Benefit. We'll use a sentence, uh, a sentence you can use tomorrow. If you see a little boy or a little girl say thank you, you can say, oh, you have good manners. Oh, you have good manners. Manners. Um, hi, please explain the pronunciation for me. Yep. I'll make it bigger. So... It's a two-syllable word, but we really only concentrate. Uh, it's it's very slight difference. Manners. Uh, this is a short a, short a here, and we got this the regular er with the z sound. This is a z, yeah. but usually usually we kind of cut it so it's 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 a little bit tough to catch the z, but it actually should be a z. Manners. 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 It sounds good. You're, right now I'm hearing more S than Z, but in a sentence it'll be fine. Oh, you have good manners. Oh, you have good manners. It sounds great. You, I heard S, but that's fine. It sounds great. But maybe it is S. Manners. 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 Hers. Yeah. It's got to be so Z. My, but it, my sounds problem like, is, it sounds perfect. So my problem is kind of the Z at the ending. Well, yeah, but at the same time, mm, it. It sounds totally fine. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Nabil says, when's the live podcast coming? Um, Nabil, I need to get healthy, and it'll be there. Hopefully. It's such a big commitment, Nabil. And to be to be honest, um, I'm nervous of commitment. <laughs> so when I actually start, um, it's got to be. Uh, consistent, and I'm really nervous about it. Uh, 
it's it takes so much time and so much energy. Uh, I'm excited and nervous. Right now, I have no excuses except to begin. So thanks a lot for putting the pressure on me, Nabil. <laughs> That's sarcasm. I can't wait for that. Oh, for your dear. podcast. Oh dear, yeah. I'm 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 looking forward to it. I will probably it's gonna be live, right? It's gonna be live on Periscope and Blab. Do you guys know what Periscope is? Yeah. Yeah, it'll be live on Periscope and Blab. So if you have a smartphone, wherever you are, if you have a good internet connection, you can see it. At the same time, I'll be recording it. So the Periscope Blab, it's live, so the quality is just okay, but the recording quality will be excellent. Uh, it should be very, very good uh, recording quality. Um, and these I will, uh, it will be live uh, here, and then after, uh, of course, I will upload it um, too. And yeah, so so this is what's going to happen. Yeah, but you did it the, the last time, and I I was I was trying to play it, and it didn't work. Oh, I deleted it. Oh, you deleted it? Okay. <laughs> Why? <laughs> because I was embarrassed. Oh. I get embarrassed. You didn't go, uh, you didn't do a good job? Oh. Uh, it was disorganized. Okay. That's okay. We didn't, we didn't mind. I mean, <laughs> I have my pride, my silly narcissistic pride. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yes, Umesh. Uh, actually, I have a question because, uh, as I discussed, I don't have much time. Sometimes I really don't have time. So, like, you say, give just ten minutes. I don't find any uh, don't find any way like just giving ten minutes is enough or like can you suggest how to do uh, go through with this DDM and uh, ten minutes I, I I bet it's not enough you know no no and that so it's good points first of all DDM and perf are different uh, DDM and perf the requirements are different um, for DDM uh, minimally you're going to need 30 minutes uh, per day for at least four days a week, at least. So min this is a minimum. you got to find 30 minutes per day, four days a week. And the thing with DDM, the thing with any class, whether it's exercise or whether it's a, a class, you're studying something, whatever, don't let it be a hobby. Make it a habit, which means put it in your schedule. It has to be in your schedule, and and you have to designate that time specifically to it for the DDM especially. Um, now some students they spend more time, but minimally for the answers and the explanation, you know, sometimes it's 45 minutes. I sincerely apologize. I try my best to keep it short, but you. You have to devote that time. You really need to devote that time. So this should probably be 40 minutes. Now for the dictation itself, uh, dictation two is going to take at least 30 minutes. So that's 30 minutes for two days. And uh, and then you got one day of no English. Well, for me personally, days off screw up the rhythm. So I like to have uh, – I, I try to go every day. Um, but yeah, it's it's tough though. Now for perf, perf is a little bit different. Um, perf, you, you, I recommend having one day, one day uh, for lessons. Okay, you just really study hard the lessons, and uh, that's going to take you about between 60 and 90 minutes uh, for one day. The other days, at least five minutes, but not once. I recommend probably three, five minutes, three to four times per day of practicing. Now, if you can make it 10 minutes, that's even better of practicing. And when I say practicing, um, I mean, I can't spell it all. Uh, I mean practicing uh, last week's 
and this week's. Okay, not just one. I want you to practice both. Even though you're not recording it, after I give you the lesson and I teach you, I do want you to record, I, to, to practice, 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 get it in you. Listen to me, say it. Listen to me, say it. And then for the new one, just say it, say it, say it. Uh, it's so important. Once again, five minutes at least once a day, preferably three or four times a day. And, and these things need to be uh, not a hobby but a habit. It needs to be in your system. And so when I when I was studying Korean, I was very methodical. Every day I had the same routine. I started out my morning by listening. I didn't. There was no DDM for Korean language, but I started out by listening to music. As I listened to music, I walked to school. When I went to school, I wrote down 20 vocabulary words and I practiced the vocabularies every day, Monday through Sunday, every day. Um, and then in the evenings, probably for 45 minutes to an hour, roughly, I would watch, uh, at that time, VCR tapes of Korean TV shows. I would just watch them and didn't understand anything, but I would do it just to practice. Um, and I did that for, you know, four years, about four years. And then um, it, the light went on and uh, I was, I became efficient at the, at the Korean language. So, but once again, the key, Umesh, and I know you're busy and, and you got kids and, uh, and your wife misses you, uh, but, but it needs to be in your schedule. It's, it's just, it's got to be in your schedule. Well, actually, like, I try to make my schedule and in the evening or in the morning, I tried my best. For the explanation video, that is fine because whenever I go for a walk or even like I go to office, right? So I just turn on that one and I keep listening that and even like I listen the same explanation for a couple of times uh, like in a day. That is fine because I'm driving. But for the video like I have to sit and watch. That time like sometime it takes a longer time in office and I have so many things and I come back and again start working and then you know you don't have the energy left to you know go and do it. So that's what I was like I heard that you said like 10, 15 minutes, I said, okay, let me understand that what the method is. I probably am missing. I'm not doing it uh, the right way. So. For Now, let me tell you another thing, you guys, especially for DDM. Uh, the five, ten minutes a day thing, this is how you do it. Um, you choose one scene of Seinfeld. Uh, so, for example, is this Seinfeld? Uh, you choose uh, this scene, the Elaine and Jerry scene. You choose this scene. And I hope you know how. If you don't know how, you need to learn. It's not that difficult. Uh, or ask somebody. Make a, Just leave a request on Box.com. Make a, an MP3 of just this scene. And, and take a picture on your smartphone of just this scene. And then every time you go to the bathroom or whatever, play it, listen to it, say it. Just start playing with it. Be Jerry. And don't be Elaine. Just be Jerry. I tell students one thing that's really helpful. Pick one character. And for you, Umesh, because you live in America, I highly recommend you follow Jerry. Not George, not Kramer, but follow Jerry. And uh, that might help you a lot. Okay. Oh, definitely. See, I improved a lot. <laughs> I improved a lot and the explanation video, I improved my vocabulary and my pronunciation, everything like I really improved a lot but I want to improve more like you know and somehow like for last uh, three, four weeks, um, I'm really like it's really hard for me to get you know, get into the, uh, into the groove. <laughs> perfect, perfect usage. Um, and I'll tell you another thing, people uh, yeah, it, 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 there's a cycle. You're, you're in it, and then you're out. And then you get back in it, and then you're out. It happens. I'll tell you something, though. Now that you mentioned that, I'm going to show, share something here. Um, a similar guy. His name is David. Um, he's, he, it's just like you, Umesh. I have to focus better on the schedule of perf during the week. Time is his problem, in other words. And I told him, 
Um, what did I tell him? I said, I need to make an app for perf students to get them to look at and read the assignment during the week. And, uh, and he thought it would be useful. So this is something that I am aware of. I know most of you, uh, most of my students are professionals. They have families. They work. They're busy. Time is really important. So I'm thinking about developing some sort of app that kind of just reminds you, you know, you can set the time, you can set the time to remind you and even to give you the audio or give you the script just to practice it. Because once again, five minutes sounds ridiculous, but if it's consistent, it makes a big difference. Well, I agree. So like, you know, the, even if I, I have to work, I can like, I can be multitasking, I can listen something, but the, the time for the practice, yeah. that is like I'm, I'm, I have to manage. So listening, I can, I, I keep listening, right? I, I keep listening. Even I, when I'm sitting, I'm doing something, I put my headphone on and then I'm listening, okay. Um, I listen almost all of the explanation videos. <laughs> that's, that's really excellent. Yuka, I'll take your question in a second. One more thing on this. Uh, I, I went, uh, I might be hopefully hiring two people, uh, hopefully at least one of them, and they're Americans. That'll add even more times. I don't know what time they're available or if they're interested. But, uh, yeah, if I can have more hangouts, especially on the weekends, too, uh, it's going to be beneficial for people like you, too. Right. Yeah, because... Uh, People who live in America, you see, in the mornings we don't have time. Everybody works, and pro probably in the afternoon. You cannot join, and then in the evening, they're like. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. In you the know, morning, like seriously, it's really, it really become difficult. I try to work from home those days, but I have meetings. I have to go and sit in the meeting and whole day, and then I, I miss. Okay. People don't know, uh, uh, in America, everybody, just for your information, America surprisingly starts work very early. Uh, 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock, people are at the office um, very, very early. Uh, and when I lived in Korea, 9 o'clock, 8.30, 9 o'clock was the typical starting time. But, yeah, it is a little bit different. Okay, Yuka, Yuka, you have a question on 294. Go for it. The Lord and God, same thing. That's a great question, actually. So if we're going to say Lord, um, it's going to be the same as God. And if you get, it gets a little bit religious here, but then it's still, the Christians believe that God, Lord, Jesus are all the same. And then there's the Holy Spirit. Um, so... Many times these are referenced the same. Now, obviously, Jesus is the son of Mary, uh, but he's a re-embodiment of God. I'm not sure exactly, but yes. Anyway, Lord and God, if they're capital letters, they're the same. Mm -hmm. Okay. Got it? Thank you. Got it. Oh, we can also even say, what, are the, what do Catholic people say? To the Father, to the Son, to the Holy Ghost? Is that right? Up, right, left? Is that right? Who's Catholic? There's got to be a Catholic person here. Up, right, left? Yeah, and, and me and uh, So it's Father, Son, Holy Ghost, Amen? Amen. Yeah. Father, Son, Holy Ghost, Amen. Right? Amen. And I'm not Catholic. <laughs> I know you're not. You're an atheist. <laughs> yeah. So how about the hangout? Can you rotate the birth hangout? Um, perhaps. It's uh, perhaps. Not decided yet. Yeah, because in the morning, you know. <laughs> Wake up. <laughs> oh, it's not because that's how I got to go to the bank. <laughs> Eight o'clock in the morning. Berta, use your phone for the bank. No, I have to do a lot of things on Saturdays. <laughs> uh, 
Maybe, maybe. By the way, uh, I am into English every single day, and when I come here, I have a lot of mistakes. What do you recommend? <laughs> you mean uh, when you're speaking? No, here, when I come to read the lessons. I mean, I don't have any problem out there for people understanding me. In fact, some people say that my English is very good. Um, some people say. Uh, huh? Some people say, not some people says. Well, some people say, but then when I come here, I have a lot of mistakes. Um, this, yeah. is the, this is the dilemma of the teacher-student relationship. As it goes on in time, uh, some mistakes go unchecked. That happens. Uh, it's going to happen with every teacher that you have. Um, People get used to the speaking style and the pattern, and unfortunately, they tend to get used to the patterns too. But Bertha, you're lucky because I know that you have other English coaches and English teachers too. And like I said, um, I'll be continuously looking for other people. So just, just remind us, remind the teachers, if you hear something, please catch it, please catch it. Okay. Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, I think this is Min Jung, or is it Zen? Maybe it's both of you guys. Thank you so much. Uh, you guys have a great weekend, too. Umesh, go ahead. I'm just uh, going to say, uh, after like attending this puff and uh, DBM, now I, when someone speaks, I just notice that, okay, how they're speaking, <laughs> where the tongue is, okay, like, you know, earlier I was not no noticing, but now I'm really paying attention and, and try to correct myself or, or see or listen, okay, how is he pronouncing it, oh, okay, earlier nothing, like nothing like this happening, now this is the one good thing I'm doing right now. That's really great, that's so important, and once again, uh, Umesh, uh, in particular, as you probably know, I really want you to, to focus, continue to focus on that R. Don't, and, and there, your tongue is, is a little bit high. Just remember, especially with the R, try bringing it down, bringing it down. Okay. So when, you, so when you're listening to other people speak, listen to their R's, especially. That's what I, I want you to watch them when they say their R's, okay? Right. Oh, like some places my R is good, some places my R is bad. Okay. So some places right now, right now, right, 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 right now, you said some places my R, R is R is good, That's some places my R is bad. It was just perfect. <laughs> <laughs> it's That's just concentration. It happens, and then after, when I once I'm done, then I was like, oh, and you know, the funny thing is, sometime in in a meeting. When I speak, and like here I correct myself, I repeat that word three or four times, and I say like, what I'm doing in the meeting, what I'm correcting. <laughs> I'll bring this. But everybody likes you. <laughs> yeah, everybody likes you. <laughs> I'm going to be hard on you. So, yeah, and, and once again also, for all of you, for all of you, not just this hangout, Every chance you get, even if it's just five minutes, get into a hangout. Just get in and go and just just tell you know Clive, Miguel, uh, Matt, say, oh hi, I only have five minutes. Can I practice two sentences? And and seriously, um, even if you just have a little bit of time, join. Apologize. Oh, I'm sorry, but I only have two minutes. But can I do two sentences? And I'm sure I'll tell the coaches to, to help you out, okay? But I, you need you need to use the coaches and myself, and you need to practice uh, at, out loud as much as possible. And I understand. <clears throat> excuse me. Time, time is the enemy. Yeah, that's what I do. I only join like 20 minutes. I have to go. I'm sorry. Can I go first? And I, I, I um. Text them privately, you know. Can I go first? Because I need to go. 
<laughs> yeah, you don't have to do it privately. I think people understand, but yeah, that's nice. That's great. Well, but I'm shy because it's not fair for the students. You're Everybody, not shy. You know, Everybody's in a hurry, you know. You and Daniel are the least shy people in the world. I agree. <laughs> Me at least. <laughs> Thank you very Daniel much. And, Daniel and you are the most funny people. Though. You guys always make me laugh. Uh, uh, me, <laughs> me funny. <laughs> Daniel, Daniel, you're funny looking. <laughs> okay. I'm teasing. Thank you very much, everybody. I'm so glad that you joined me. David, it's been such a long time. I'm glad you're here. Everton, as always, it's great having you. Moon, I want you speaking next time. I guess it's it's not that late. I don't know. Nabil, it's early for you. Uh, Shelly, you did a great job today. Be more human. Umesh, I want you here every week, every week that you can be. Uh, Francisco, I'm finally glad you got your microphone working. And Yuka, it's always great to talk to you. Thank you, Coach Shane. I'm human. Yeah. <laughs> I know you're human. I know you're human. <laughs> I know. And you're doing great. And, and the more you do it, the better you'll be. Okay. <laughs> I'm human. <laughs> no, you are not the you're not the first one to say I'm speak like like a robot or something. You know My what? Say the same thing. It's uh, is it the Chinese? Because I have other Chinese students that have that too. That uh, kind of a uh, I think it's because of the monotone. But Chinese has lots of inflections. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I don't speak use my stomach, you know. Uh -huh. I think that's the main problem. It yes. might be. You did really well in Seinfeld today, though. Okay, thank you. Yeah. yeah. Take care, everybody. Okay. Bye. Okay. Okay. Bye. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Take care. Have a nice weekend. Bye -bye. Thank you. Thank you. You too. Bye-bye. Take care, Nabil.